Did you know that bleeding inside of a gas zone, even while fully protected, still gives you this gas poisoning disease? This is because the gas poisoning disease can enter your character's body through the bleeds that they have regardless of your protection, but it does it much slower than the 25 seconds it takes to get it when you're not wearing a gas mask. The number of bleeds you have determines the speed at which you get the disease in this particular case, and because certain parts of your NBC suit only let you bleed a certain amount, it means you can technically walk around in the gas without needing certain parts of your NBC suit, but there are are limitations. If you're missing the top or the pants of your NBC suit there is no maximum bleed count so you will get the disease very quickly and die soon after but the head, feet and hands all have their bleed stack capped. This means if you're missing the head part of the NBC suit which gives you a maximum of one bleed if you don't have it you won't get the disease until after eight minutes but because this one bleed is just so powerful because it's on your head I guess you die in five minutes from the bleed through blood loss which is still much better than the time it takes to die from missing the top top of the pants anyway. However, with the feet and the hands of the NBC suit missing, you won't die for 11 minutes and a half, but you will get the disease in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. This is because, like I said earlier, the more bleeds you have in the gas zone, the faster you get the disease. With the feet missing or the hands missing, you get 2 bleeds maximum, and because these bleeds happen every 15 seconds, there's no chance you're going to patch them up. Regardless, if you're missing the boots or the gloves of the NBC suit because finding all the pieces is going to be difficult, you can roam around in the gas carefree for three and a half minutes, or if you have a pox injector, 11 and a half minutes of freedom. Bum.